This is Khalil, Khalil Aaron. Hey, Aaron, nice to meet you. You've been coming here for a while? Yeah, I've been coming for a long time, but lately I haven't been uh, coming a lot. But... Good.
Play who? I'm gonna put Carlin, Carlini. Carlini? Why should I play Carlini? And crush me. The great Carlini. Huh? Wait, who won? Who won? I won. Are you out there? Then, then I just this. What? Carlin here. What's up, man? Carlini. Go ahead. Like one minute, like. I want to play with him. Carl. 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 Where at? Where? Where's the new guy? Right there. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Right there. Okay. Yeah, right there. Okay. Yeah, right there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right there. Okay. Yeah, right there. Okay. 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 What's your name? Cliff? I won't say anything. <laughs> I'll let it go. Anyway, good luck. Hit me. Hey guys, Brian here, and what an amazing finish between Khalil and Aaron here. And I mean, this is crazy game because it looks like they're both making the best moves. But look at this eval bar. Look at the swings, right? I mean, Khalil was winning. I mean, Aaron was winning, but now look at this. It's good for Khalil to close it out. But this king was a fighting king and just came down here. And what a badass boom. Kind of the king was the one assisting with the victory at the end. And that is a beautiful mate by Aaron. Nicely done, man. And I think the the crazy thing is, if Khalil played, I think King F1 here, he's fine. Um, at least he has the back and forth. But um, but yeah, I mean it's hard when you're the one playing outsider sees everything. So wow, 
Khalil gives up his queen for two pieces. And let's figure out what the finishing blows were for both sides, right? It gets spicy, and this is Aaron's game to win. And the crazy thing was, like, this looks like the right move. Check, and you queen, and you win another piece. But look at that eval bar. It goes from negative 5.0 to negative 2.3. It will be another move for black here. Yes, the whole, the whole point of keeping the queen here, keep an eye on this so the checks aren't there. Knight here. Um... Bishop cannot take because you're going to queen on the next move. And and then maybe on the next move, boom, protect and attack. So some nice moves here for black. But remember, when this pawn dropped, when rook takes rook was played, then we see the eval bar um, jump in favor of Khalil, right? So how, do, how does Khalil close out the game? And, and what I love about these positions is that it's not... The usual answer so in the game rook a7 ag7 was placed go move back that seems like the right move will be another move for white here yes and you can see the common theme here is to anticipate so rook a f7 um you know cover the square and black basically ha doesn't have any options here what are you gonna do queen d6 to protect everything but now white is going to uh, reroute to double up, and there's basically nothing black can do at this point. Um, you're just going to kind of trade everything off and win the end game here. So that was the way for, I think, um, Khalil to win. But hard to see when you're the one playing, man. Outsider sees everything. So sometimes the best move isn't offense or defense. It's just to anticipate your opponent's best move and prevent it, right? And um, that's uh, that's... That's a good lesson we can all learn. But what a great back and forth game and a fighting king by Aaron. Nicely done, Aaron. Um, great fight, Khalil. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you thought of the game comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe at that notification. Thanks. I'll see you guys tomorrow.